Uh, the idea a few years ago was to replicate a study that was done in the UK. Uh, many years ago in the 60s, uh, the father of tribology, uh, Professor Peter Jost, uh, he decided to try and investigate how much money was being lost to the economy, the UK economy, um, based upon wear and friction, unnecessary wear. And he found it was many billions of pounds. That was uh, 40, 50 years ago. Um, we decided to replicate that uh, about four years ago. Um, we approached the Department of Science and Technology and uh, they sponsored us to, to run this uh, study. Uh, we found some very interesting findings for the South African economy. Certainly many billions of rands are being lost even now uh, when tribology is a, is a known uh, science. Um, there are still many losses. Um, some of the interesting findings were by replacing uh, traditional bearings with magnetic bearings in ESCOM for example you could save one to one and a half percent of the power usage at the moment. Um, things like by, by insisting that people use multigrade engine oils instead of monograde, we can save up to 2% fuel economy. Now for a single person that's not, a, not that important, but if you work out the trillions of litres of fuel that we use in South Africa, uh, then 2% of that is a significant quantity of, of fuel. Uh, things like using low um, energy tyres also helps to save. So that was the purpose of the study. Um, there have been many studies done around the world as well in different countries over the years and the process is now coming to a, to a peak with uh, a global study to try and evaluate how much uh, loss there is to the world economy uh, due to bad tribological um, practices. I see government as a key area in our whole existence. They, we've got the opportunity to work together to promote better opportunities within South Africa in terms of energy savings, in terms of tribological principles, new technology. If it comes from government, it's seen as a really forceful method of getting it through into South Africa. Um, it, with the backing of government, the Tribology Institute can go anywhere. For us, this is our opportunity to move tribology into the mainstream. Um, there are a number of recommendations that came out of this and one for me the most important one is to get tribology into the education stream, to introduce it as a, as a known subject even during school, but definitely at undergraduate level. We have many engineers coming out. We ran our five day course here where the last course we had many, many junior engineers and during their undergraduate courses they had had no exposure to tribology at all mm -hmm. and uh, at the moment we're the only people running these sort of courses and we really would be very keen to get it into education. That is why we're working with the DST, we'd like to work with the Department of Minerals, Department of Education and all those groups to try and um, get tribology recognised as a not just part of engineering but a, a discipline on its own.